Welcome back everybody. Now I know two videos in one day. What's going on here? As you all know, I normally release videos only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And today, this is the second video I'm recording for Wednesday. So this video is purely spontaneous, just as they always are when it comes to what we're gonna talk about, talk about today. And this is the new uh, release of the numbers for made in China vehicles from Giga Shanghai. So that's all this video is gonna be about. We're just gonna get right into the numbers and talk about what they mean. And we're gonna do a little extrapolation of what it could mean in the bigger scheme of things for Q3 and then Q4 as well. So with that said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's get into it. Okay, so we're just gonna go right into my spreadsheet. So looking here at my spreadsheet, we can see down here in the red, we have um, the total made in China sold. So it was a total of 44,264 vehicles that were sold in August. Okay, this is very clearly a record, okay, by about 11,000 vehicles over July. Okay, this is the most that they've ever sold out of Shanghai. Now, keep in mind, Shanghai is now the de facto export hub for Tesla. So everything is going to be exported at a Giga Shanghai. This allows the Fremont factory to focus on North America pr primarily. We don't have to worry about vessels having to go across the Atlantic, across the Pacific, just to deliver vehicles. Okay, so this makes things a lot more effective or cost effective, better for margins and everything for Tesla. Now, if we look at what they exported, they exported 31,379 vehicles. Again, another record, which we would expect. And if we look at what they sold domestically, 12,885 vehicles. Now, this obviously is not a record, but it did beat what they did last month. Okay, now, again, we talked about this a few times, and we all know this from the Fremont factory. The first month of every quarter for the export factory is always going to have more exports than domestic sales. The second month will trend along that same lines, but they'll have a little more domestic sales. The third month, which is the month we're in right now, September, will be focused primarily on the domestic market. There'll still be some exports, but the main focus will be domestic. And the reason for this is to um, benefit from the amount of time it takes to get things from the current domestic location to wherever it's being exported to. So, so these are amazing numbers, phenomenal numbers. Um, and I want to just do a quick experiment. So we now know what the numbers were for July and August, and we have one month left in this quarter, in Q3. Okay, so that's September. So we really won't know what September numbers are until early October. But, you know, I think we have enough data right now to do a little extrapolation. So if we look down here, this is just a quick estimate for Q3. So here we can see for Giga Shanghai, I have 121,873 vehicles. Now, where do I get this number from? Well, all I did was I took July, which is 33,000. I took August, which was 44,000. And I assumed that sept oh, someone's walking in front of my house. I assumed that September will be no greater than what August just delivered out of Shanghai. Okay. That means that we'll have another 44,000. So if we sum this up, right, it's an aggregate of 121,873 vehicles, okay? This would be a record at a Shanghai, which is still ramping. Now, we also know that Shanghai still has not ramped to exceed what Fremont is doing, right? We, we learned that in the Q2 um, report. So where Fremont is, you know, over 500,000 Model 3s and Ys and has a capacity to do about 100,000 S and Xs, we know Shanghai, you know, they had an approximately uh, 450,000 vehicles is the run rate. So we know that Fremont up to this point is still selling more so than what's happening in Shanghai. So let's just take a very base case and say that this 121 out of Shanghai is the exact same number that we get out of Fremont. Okay, this is base case. This is assuming that Shanghai has ramped up to what Fremont is. If we look at these numbers, this comes out to 243,000 vehicles for the quarter. This would blow out the expectations. This would be a huge number for Tesla going into Q3 and starting off Q4, okay? So this could be a very, very big quarter for Tesla, okay? Again, we've talked about this. We're gonna have record after record after record, quarter after quarter after quarter, okay? It's gonna just continue. Now, 
couple other things I want to talk about. Um, let's think about margins. The more vehicles that we get made and sold from China, the bigger the margins are going to be. We saw what happened with Q2. Q2 was record margin quarter for Tesla. Now we're going to have even more vehicles made out of China. China has better factories, better processes, more technology in the manufacturing process, right? The, the labor there is cheaper. So there's a lot of things, you know, benefiting Tesla out of Giga Shanghai. So the more vehicles we sell, it's just going to help us out on the margins. And then don't forget, Model S, Model X, those are very high margin vehicles as well. So I would assume that Q3 is going to have better margins than what we saw in Q2. Now, this again is just uh, another thought I was having. Let's think about how many more deliveries we could have once Giga Berlin opens, okay? If Europe isn't having to get any exports from Shanghai, which they still will as Berlin ramps up, but let's just make a fun exercise. If we don't have to worry about that distance and that time lag between the time the vehicle is made and transporting it so it gets sold, and we have Europe handled by Berlin, right? We have Shanghai and all of the, the Far East, all of Asia handled by Shanghai. That means we can make a lot more vehicles and deliver them in shorter amounts of time. And because the point from where it's made to the point of delivery is a lot shorter, those costs come down, right? And on top of that, you have the, the economies of volume, right? Adding even more vehicles to the fleet, adding more vehicles out there, right? So this could become a very big Q4 into Q1 for Tesla. So again, the whole point of this was just to, you know, get a quick video out here, let you guys know what's going on, talk about this amazing number that we just got out of, uh, out of Shanghai for made in China vehicles. And again, none of this really tells us anything yet about where the Chinese market is for Tesla. We will know that in October. Once we see what the numbers are for, um, the, for the domestic sales out of, uh, or for China, that's where we'll really get a good sentiment of what that market's looking like. Either way, in the long term, I don't think it's a big deal, even if it is a little weaker than what we would desire, mainly because Tesla can't even fill their current orders, okay? They're so backlogged. You know, they have three, six, nine week wait times for their vehicles. You know, demand is not an issue, it's supply, right? Tesla cannot make these fast enough. They can't ramp, ramp up fast enough. So, okay, so we're gonna leave it there. Uh, do us a favor. If you enjoy this type of content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell. It really helps the YouTube algorithm, really helps get this information, these types of video to a wider audience. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I love you all. Peace.